Good morning. Today is Monday, 6th of February. If you didn't see the 1M from last episode, there'll be a link to this at the end. My name is Jim Waditos, Vehicle Detailing Specialist in the East Midlands. Welcome to the channel if you've not been here before. So the 1M had the full restoration, major paint correction, full interior, engine bay, wheels off treatments, my full as much as I can possibly do and protect the vehicle throughout. And it looks stunning. It's due for collection in the next hour. Uh, and this week is a uh, an 11 year old, 70,000 mile, extremely well used Range Rover. Adriatic blue. And again, uh, a major paint correction detail chasing paint perfection where we can, where it's safe to do so. It's, it's a case of not being a miracle worker in this job, but doing all the best we can with what we've been given. There are scars, there are chips, there are. It's just had a bit of a battle with who knows what. So do what we can there, full interior treatments to restore the leather, get that looking nice. It's a nice sort of navy contrast with the cream piping. The wheels, they're actually been away there. I'm shipping them down to the wheel shop this afternoon for refurbishment. If you did see the vlog for the 1M, you'll realize it was a lengthy episode. I still don't know how long it is because I still haven't finished editing. So in the week, I'll be finishing off the edit for that. For this one, the Range Rover, I can't warrant the time. I can't justify the same time. But what I will do is keep it sort of shorter and categorize it. So this is the wash, this is the wheels, these are the paint and just sort of keep it brief and hopefully sub 15 minutes for, for a change. So a very quick look over the paint. Straight away, you can see an array of buffer trails, the holograms, the wavy lines that are going left to right. Buffer marks, obviously the vehicle is yet to be washed, it's very dirty. With all this surface damage on the paintwork, all the clarity and gloss is otherwise lost, hidden underneath. Not sure how well this mark's going to lift. Looks like it's taking the paint off there. The usual scratches around the driver's door handle, nails and keys. The Vogue actually is a return customer as well. I used to be a mobile service and it's an existing customer from way back when, not seen them for a long time. They've had various cars, a, a big fleet of vehicles of which I've worked on in the past. This one is the latest edition. They paid very little for it. It's a bit of a steal uh, when they bought it. 11 years old, 70,000 miles on the clock, a well-used example, but because of the price they paid, willing to throw four vehicles at it to restore Sort of throughout. Oh, and also, uh, we are now operating back on, how can I show you this? I know, the reflection of the BM. Back on the Canon, a little G7X, this little fella, was sent away for repair. For the meantime, for the last few episodes, I've been borrowed a, I've been lent a Sony RX100 Mark III. Don't get me wrong, the picture was nice. The audio, I think, was better. The mic was better than the Canon, but this Canon's touchscreen focus ability, so it's on the 1M, it's on the face. It's on the 1M. It's on the face. It's very fast. And I'm only aware of that uh, now I've tried another camera. Looking forward to using this again and uh, becoming familiar with the controls again because I'm, I'm used to the Sony. Uh, but again, the time lapse was a nice feature on this that the Sony didn't have. So, in fact, that might be what the bulk of this vlog will be time lapse of work on the Range Rover. So, start the soundtrack now and enjoy. I'll be honest, that wasn't pleasant. 
Range Rover is full wash, decontamination complete. The car has had a lot of paint work. Again, I feel like I do nothing but nothing but bitch about or point out all the bad bits that other people leave behind, but that's my job. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm looking for problems to fix them. It's gonna be a long week. It isn't gonna be perfect. I'm gonna chase out as many marks as I can within the time scales, uh, and we'll see how we get on. But for now, apologies about the lack of uh, wash process. You've seen it before, I'm sure. By now, if not, check out some of the other videos. But the wheels, they are off for refurbishment. So every wheel has sort of this sort of level of curbing, but it's the corrosion which we're going to sort. So these will be acid dipped uh, and refinished. Got new centre caps. But the question is, will they all fit in the BM? <laughs> Possibly the worst start of the day ever. I'm an hour and a half behind what should have been a 25 minute journey, actually took an hour and 20 to get the wheels for the Range Rover to the refurb shop this morning. So I'm now tackling back to work cross country, reason being the roads, the most direct roads, the A17, which is bad at the best of times. There's an overturned lorry. It's really snarled up. There's tailbacks and there's queues and I have no idea where I am. I have another 37 minutes in the car before I get to work, which means it's going to be half past 10, which I could have probably completed the best part of one side of the critting stage. But there we are. Never mind. I'm glad I got the vehicle for the full week, but the wheels will be worth it. On the road, but we've cut down blah, 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 blah. on the near side rear quarter now. You can see, oh Christ, that was lower than I thought it was going to be. It's like when you're walking down the steps and you think there's one more step there, and it's not. Uh, we have all the damage and the abrasion and scratches, there's lots there to chase out, especially with this beauty on the side. But talking about the edging, so I've done the spot pad work around the handle, under the line, above the line, down the side of the door, above the swage, below the swage, before doing the bulk with the big pad. On the near side quarter, I want to get the spot pad into this 
crevice and corner, which means taping up the bumper. But do I actually want to tape up the bumper? As you can see, it's not the healthiest of finishes. There are areas where it looks like lack of peel due to a poor respray job in the past. So my fear here is tape up to protect, but as the tape comes off, albeit low tack, that it's going to pull some of the lacquer with it. So areas like this, it's worth spotting beforehand and actually just sort of working around it. So I would imagine there's going to be a slightly haze, slightly hazy 20 mil or so here because I don't want to put tape on this for fear of making things worse. <laughs> End of day two, uh, cutting, uh, progress is pretty slow, but we're getting somewhere. The, the near side now has been fully cut and refined. I'm taking a different approach to this job. I'm actually cutting, refining as we go. So I've been down this side. It's 90% correction, uh, to be honest. It's looking a lot better from where it was. And I've been over the top of the roof bar, same as the offside. Tomorrow, I'll like to get the majority of the cut complete. I've got to debadge. The Range Rover letter in front and rear on the bonnet. Work down this side, tack of the bumpers. We have a view to, oh, look at the buffer trails on the bonnet. Dear me, someone's had fun on this one. So end of play tomorrow, Wednesday, day three. I'd like to have the majority of the cutting complete. So I will see you in the morning. Morning. It is Wednesday and we are here uh, cutting down the offside. Look at that beauty. Obviously the driver's door yet to be touched. Near side door cut and a refined. That's ace. Let's bring the light further forward. So when people ask what is detailing, I'll show you when I get some focus. That is detailing the removal of unsightly defects. Abrasions, scratches, obviously these are an assortment of scratches from when fingers have missed or keys or rings. Going into the door pocket. It isn't perfect, as I say, the car has its fair share of scars, unfortunately. Night and day difference, restoring the true clarity and the colour. It'll be interesting to see how these marks come out, uh, to be honest. So give me 40 to 50 minutes and I'll be back in touch. Sometime later, perfecto. Not bad, that at all. The offside on the truck is original, so the paint on this side to the near side is responding a lot different to uh, the other side. So lots of different sort of combinations and polish. Polishing techniques and approaches to get this result, but you can't get much better than that. I'm pleased with that, considering what it was. Not bad for an 11 year old car, 70,000 miles on the clock. Just the handle to cut now, and then that's the door complete. I really like it when this happens. This has just come through on my Instagram. I've just been sent a video of someone playing back uh, last week's vlog episode. Looking and learning from the best. Hashtag why details. That's really cool. 
Uh, feel free to get involved and screenshot, snap, um, film. Really, really awesome. Just checking in, Friday night, it is just gone quarter past, 20 past seven. Uh, and the Range Rover now sits, the end is in sight, and I feel better now because the whole job, the unit's been a bomb site, the car's been dusty, it's been a messy job. Uh, but we finally, I feel, I finally feel like I'm actually progressing towards the end now. Paint fully polished, corrected, and refined. Badges reapplied, badges replaced in the bonnet, tailgate, Range Rover, and the Vogue. These will be being replaced. You can see they're a bit stained and tarnished, as are the indicators. The, the orange indicators have been replaced for clear. Lenses, there's been touch-ups made to the whole vehicle. Interior-wise, I have to be careful where I touch because there's been some touch-ups made on the handle. It is now waiting on application of leather protection, so it's all been cleansed. Nice place to be. Uh, I've not really got a great deal of footage of this. You saw the toothpickery work on the top of the gear knob. What else? There was some work on the leather, on the steering wheel. Nice combination. So back in tomorrow, I've got to sort the wheels, or the wheels are back from the refurbishment. An inside and out job. They were really badly corroded before. So look in the park now. New centre caps. So tomorrow will be the wheels. It will be sort the glass, do the trim. And, and then that's about it. The engine bay, as far as they can, has been done. So back in tomorrow.
Range Rover complete. Endless hours pumped into this one to restore back to where it sits now. At first, when it first uh, arrived, I was a bit overwhelmed by sort of the, the scale of the job, the condition of the vehicle. But it has to be said, it is quite a save. Better than I probably thought it could have done, actually. Every panel has its scars, it has a few scrapes, and I spent 30 to 40 minutes with the touch-up and the cocktail stick. Just areas which your eye is now drawn away from. So on top of the handles, there were areas where it had been scrawled, and there were just little abrasions and bits and bobs, and it was just a case of, they're still there, of course, it's just now hidden, and it's disguised, and it takes your eye away from the defect. Same on the front end of the bonnet. So the vehicle's received a multi-stage major paint correction detail, chasing sort of 90%, if we can, if possible, 90% uh, correction defect removal. Full interior treatments with leather protection, leather treatments, engine bay detail, the wheels have been refurbished, the lettering, the Range Rover lettering, on the front and on the boot lid. The Range Rover Vogue lettering has been replaced. The vehicle will be coming with clear side repeaters, hence why they're not in at the minute. There will be a new grille to go on, because this one's tarnished and stained, as are the near side side vents. So it has been a busy week. Uh, thank you again for watching. No Q&A this week. I'm overdue the Q&A, so I'll try my best to get one done. I actually recorded one for the 1M episode, the documentary, or the, the vlog documentary, 40 minutes on the 1M BMW, but it would have pushed the episode through to about the 60 minute mark, an hour's episode. So I might introduce that as a second sort of separate video itself, or I'll re-record uh, next week on the next job in. This is another white detail, an AMG C63 AMG Mercedes, the third white detail in a row. So the BMW 1M, the Range Rover, and the Merc. So I'm out of here now. It's Saturday and it is half past five. I've got a busy night, busy day tomorrow. The vehicle, the collection, the Range Rover. Thanks again for watching. Back in action next week on the Merc. Please like, subscribe, and check out the other videos. And until next time, cheers. So as you start to watch the uh, footage on the truck, just be mindful of just to remember where it's come from. So I might even include some of the earlier before condition uh, footage, just so you can see the transformation uh, at hand.
Uh, you were overwhelmed. It, it, uh, it makes them taste better. Unbelievable. It is completely right. I spent on one uh, 